ex-friend blaming me for the death of her brother. Trigger warning. I don't feel this is guilt per se but I do feel this wrong is living in my head rent free for over two years so here it goes. I have an ex-friend, we'll call her Liz, and we were friends since we were younger for about 20 years until this incident happened. Liz is about 10 years older than me and she has also has a brother about my age and I also happen to be good friends with him. We'll call him Daniel. For many years Liz and Daniel had quite a bit of sibling issues including arguing and not speaking to each other for years. Over the last five years until the incident in 2021, things got so bad that Liz and Daniel were completely estranged from each other and were as good as dead to each other. However during this estrangement, I separately was Daniel's friend and remained on friendly terms with Liz. During one of the peaks of COVID, I believe in the fall of 2021 so the Delta wave, I told Daniel to come and do some remodeling work at my house since that's what he did for a living and he agreed to come over and stay two weeks in town to help. He lived five hours away so at the time, because the hospitals were full and COVID was pretty bad, I told him to stay at a hotel nearby and then when he worked inside the house to wear a mask. He wasn't an avowed anti-vaxxer but he kind of felt he didn't need vaccines or other protection since he was healthy and had not got sick until that point. During the first couple days he did wear masks inside the house but on his own, when he got lunch or went to the stores or Home Depot or to hotel he didn't do it much. So a week into it he's inside my house working and he tells me, hey I think I need to go to my hotel, I feel super hot, like I have a fever. Maybe I've been overworking myself. I told him, sure, go take the rest of the day off. I talked to him over the phone and I told him, hey, this stuff is killing people and it makes people really sick, you should really consider getting a shot, you never know. He told me, yeah, you're probably right. I'll go tomorrow. The next day I thought he'd show up but I didn't hear anything from him. Later in the day he tells me that he feels super miserable and he thought he had this plague thing, his words. I told him, well stay put in the hotel until you get tested and don't come to the house yet, just to be sure. He got tested, and sure enough he was positive. The following day I told him, you should drive back home until you feel better and then you can come back whenever you get better. He drove home that night about 5 hours and called me that he was at his home but he felt even worse now. I talked to him over the next 2 days in a row and asked him how he felt and he said wasn't getting better, full flu symptoms, fever, etc. I told him he should consider going to doctor but he told me that he was going to get rest to see if he'd get better. After I hang up my wife tells me that she's sick and she tests and she's positive. During his week of work we were in close proximity in our house. I test and I was still negative and not sick. My wife isolated and we dealt with figuring out what to do about her sickness. My wife was vaccinated so it was relatively mild. Because of dealing with my wife being sick I didn't call or text Daniel for about two days and then I get a phone call from Liz. Liz says, Daniel passed away. He had a really bad case of COVID and they found him in his room after one of his roommates didn't see him come out for like an entire day. I was in shock. Liz's first question to me had a very accusatory tone, why didn't you tell me Daniel had COVID? I was in shock and felt against a wall at hearing the news. I couldn't even think straight so since I felt cornered the first thing I answered was, first of all Daniel had mentioned explicitly that you are dead to him, that he wants nothing to do with you, so why would I inform you anything about him? Second, I had no idea he had passed. I talked to him two days ago and he said he was resting so he could get better. So Liz went on a full-on tirade, both in the moment over the phone, and then later by text. She said I was responsible for his death since I had told no one about his illness and that I should never ever speak to her or her family again and that our 20-year friendship was done and she could never forgive me for being responsible for the death of her brother. I was devastated because I myself was now faced with grieving Daniel and now this guilt trip was poured on me in the most spectacular fashion possible. I considered going to therapy but I ended up not doing it and confided in other friends and they assured me that I in no way was responsible for his death. I couldn't possibly be responsible for Daniel's choices in life or risks he was willing to take at the time. That did make me feel better and over the years I've come to gradually accept I wasn't responsible for his death but more than two years later I still go over it in my head and wonder, did I really cause his death? Could I have done things better? Of course. Who can say they have zero regrets over words and actions? No one. But am I wrong here dismissing the guilt? Do I really have some responsibility for Daniel's death?